Hey, man, so look, gonna be jumping right into this video, man. I know y'all can't see me. This is a discussion video. Y'all can see the thumbnail. Y'all can see the title. Y'all know what this is about. I didn't write no script. Just hit the record button, and I'm about to start talking. But yesterday morning, I woke up and was slapped in the face with sadness. I was punched in my gut with disappointment. I was kicked in my knees with despair. But many of you may know that Insomniac was hit with a nasty hat late last year, and it revealed big major plans, personal info, passports, all of this stuff, man. It was horrible. And I did a really good job at staying away from from everything that was leaked until yesterday morning. I woke up to a whole leaked trailer of Insomniac's quote unquote canceled Spider-Verse game. Now the reason I say quote unquote canceled is because I don't think that this game is actually fully canceled and I will get into my reason and why and why I think we'll eventually see this Spider-Verse project come to light. Now I won't be showing anything and I won't be going into thorough uh, descriptions of what I saw. But after I saw that trailer, it kind of had me heated because one, we're one supposed to see it. You know what I'm saying? This was a leak. These developers got hacked. And two, it's quote unquote canceled. So that's when I went on just a big spree and I saw everything that's been getting leaked out. And I wasn't even gonna record this video until I saw everything, man. And it truly, truly hurt my soul. Like, I mean, Insomniac is cooking. Once again, I'm not gonna show anything and I won't go into too much detail so you don't got to worry about spoilers or anything like that i say spoilers because some of this stuff may potentially still happen so but we will talk about it here so let's get right into it and let's go over what was in this trailer once again not in depth just some of the things that stood out to me and why i think that this project will be revived or revisited sometime in the future now in this trailer one thing i could spot immediately is that it wasn't finished another thing i could tell is that they reused a lot of stuff from what seems to be spider-man 2 build the whole trailer seemed more of a presentation type of concept idea that i guess they were pitching to sony or whoever to i guess try and get a green light to start development and that's another reason why i don't think this is canceled all the way because i really don't think that it reached full development yet to even be canceled and none of the leaks that's been coming out will be confirmed or you know canceled until insomniac or sony actually starts putting out this content or actually talks about it yeah they address the leaks this is actual leaks and hacks but plans may change but a lot that i've seen in this trailer is actually a lot that i would love to see in a multiverse multiplayer spider-verse type of game you can go back and watch some of my let's plays when we were playing spider-man 2 some of my previous discussions and in those videos you probably hear me say that i would love spider-verse and how i would like to do it with going to different versions of new york going through portals and in this trailer we did see a lot of that also towards the end of that trailer it sounded like uh spider-man yuri lowenthal now i'm probably gonna get this wrong this isn't word for word but he said something like i can't always do this by myself it's gonna be better if we can do this together hence the slogan be greater together and the name of this cancel project was called the great web there was also another character that was revealed in this leak that i won't talk about if you know you know but like i said earlier i don't want to go into big details for people that kind of want to stay away from these leaks because i still think that some of these things can still happen that's what we're about to get into right now so first thing i want to say is spider-man 2 is out it was a great game we just got an update with new game plus all of that good stuff man so the next thing on the table would be dlc now like i said in the beginning of this video i did do a deep dive into all the leaks and the hacks because once i saw this trailer i was just like oh man i, I didn't see it enough i'm gonna well see everything and within my deep diving i did see that potential dlc is planned for spider-man 2 i won't show or say what that dlc is if you know you know that's all i'll say but i'll also say that in the latest update for the game it's been going around i didn't see it uh you can see the video i put on it i didn't get to experience this i don't i hope hopefully it's patched by now but somniac accidentally left a whole debug menu in the game which actually kind of confirmed some of this dlc that was leaked now i will tell you the number of dlcs that seems to be coming to the game and it's three just like the first game you got three little dlc stories spider-man 2 seems like the same case this is something i've been asking for i put this on my wish list so if it happens great but the last dlc that's potentially coming which spoiler warning i guess if it ends up coming true but it's a spider-verse dlc and with the great web spider-verse game being canceled but we have a potential spider-verse dlc on the horizon that makes me feel that they may have canceled this game but they're just reworking it to fit the single player model and that's going to lead me into a quick little section about live service single player multiplayer and this whole damn debate about all of this stuff bro people hate live service games you know what i'm saying you know on one hand i get it on the other 
hand, I feel like it's completely stupid. We get these great single player games and right after you beat the campaign, it's nothing to do. And then people ask for DLC, ask for this, ask for that, ask for that. But then you get hit with a live service and they literally do just that. You have a campaign and extra content and people hate it. Now I know the main people, the main reason, you know, people don't like these games is because of the micro uh, transactions, you know, paying for stuff, pay to win things, bugs, obviously, and a whole lot of other problems. I get that. Nobody wants bugs. Nobody wants to pay too much for something. I personally don't mind. If it's a scan, if I want to get it, I'm going to get it. Can't everybody do that? I get that. It just kills me to see the hype over this, you know, cancel live service game. We get all these other live service games and people dog on them. Now, sometimes people dog on them for the right reasons, but a lot of it just seems like hypocrisy, bro. And it just gets me angry. We, we can't have fun no more in the gaming community. I swear. Some developers and, you know, things in games definitely need to be checked, definitely need to be called out on. But man, I feel like every new game, whether it's triple A, double A, indie, first person, third person, single player, multiplayer, is something bad about it that's not really bad, but just a certain part of the gaming community gotta pick out and yada, 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 and yada, 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 and I just wish it would stop, bro. I feel like outside of business reasons and money reasons, you know, deals with Sony, the reason that this multiverse project is canceled is due to the fact that live service games have such a bad rep and i think that's mainly due to yeah there's some bad games in there but the community is just gonna dog it bro because regardless of the hype around this canceled game if they would have went through with it and live service was smacked up here you had to pay ten dollars to get exclusive Gwen Stacy scan, bro. People would trash Insomniac, but praise other live service games that do the same exact thing. Now I can understand, you know, maybe you want a live service game with characters that you like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe you don't like Suicide Squad cause you don't want to play as a villain. I get that, perfectly understandable. But this is Spider-Man, bro. People may think he's overrated, but he will always be one of the greatest superheroes on the planet. It would definitely sell, especially if it works properly. But I don't want to talk about this all day, man. That's just a topic that kind of get me heated, bro. Cause I just want to play game and have fun but at the end of the day i don't know too much about the gaming business this is my uneducated opinion maybe there was some actual bad things going on with the development or the concepts of this game something sony wasn't liking deals couldn't be made maybe it would definitely cost way too much money and insomniac is a single player development team and spider-man isn't their only game they're working on wolverine there is a parent venom game being worked on there's the dlc i mentioned and of course ratchet and clank and any other new ips they want to work on roadmaps did come out with the leaks i won't go over all of that but there is a lot a lot of uh heat that they're working on man i can definitely say that insomniac is cooking and i hope that all of these leaks and hacks don't uh deter them away is deter a word to deter you know what i'm saying i hope it doesn't you know pull them away too much from their current planning and scheduling and all that with all this delicate information being out in the wild man but let's talk about how this spider-verse game could still happen i mentioned that a spider-verse dlc uh seems to be on the table and i think a way for them to incorporate what they wanted to do for the great web game into spider-man 2 or potentially spider-man 3 is by taking the the base of that game and just turning it into a little multiplayer DLC, similar to Ghost of Tsushima's, uh, what's it called, Legend Mode, Ghost of Tsushima Legends, where it will be a DLC, paid DLC, where you can play multiplayer with your friends, but it's like a one and done type thing. It's not live service. And this will actually back up my wish list that I made in many other videos. I talked about this in my last by diverse wish list video and many other discussions, but with the inclusion of Cindy Moon, AKA Silk, I think that opens the door completely when it comes to the spider-verse obviously insomniac can abandon the whole spider-verse idea just because silk is here doesn't mean we have to have that but in the comics and in silk's origins the spider-verse is literally a huge part of her story and now she's gonna be in the game i don't know if she's gonna show up in dlc i don't know if they're gonna save her for spider-man 3 either way they're gonna have to change a whole lot if they want to skip over that spider-verse idea and the reason i think they're not is because spider-man 2 is literally littered with clues signs and hints that they are testing the waters for some type of multiverse game, multiverse project, multiverse DLC. Now I've talked about this many times before, you can go back and watch many videos, but in Spider-Man 2, the amount of portals that we have to go through for a Spider-Man game is telling me that they're working on something. The first one I wanna bring up is one of the craziest ones, and that's when we're chasing Black Cat through New York, and this wasn't even any multiverse stuff, she was just using magic, but she was still opening portals that we had to go through, and she even used it in combat. Now some 
the other portals were the Mysterio missions. Every time we started a Mysterio mission, we had to go through a portal. And when we actually fought Mysterio at the end, we had to go through another portal, which led us to a no way home, upside down city type situation that was just beautiful. Once again, backing up my idea or my wishes for having different versions of New York to kind of keep up a a freshness so we don't keep reusing New York because Spider-Man 3 is most likely gonna be in New York. There was more portals when we were dealing with Martin Lee when we we're inside of Peter's head. Once again, we saw a broke down version of New York, a Peter Parker mind version of New York. That all to me is saying that Insomniac is testing the waters for some type of multiverse project where we're gonna use a lot of portals to get through. Earlier in this video, I mentioned that the Great Rep trailer that released yesterday morning also revealed a character that is responsible for opening the portals in that trailer i won't say the character if you know you know but that would be amazing and once again that's just showing the use of portals and how much they're gonna be i guess a big part of whatever type of spider-verse multiverse project uh that i think will happen eventually i talked about this in my i forgot which discussion it was i think it was silk's discussion but gwen stacy spider gwen and many other spider-verse characters they had that little interdimensional watch go through portals uh spider-man 2099 i mean there's so many characters in Spider-Man's media that been in the Spider-Verse, all that type of stuff. And I feel like with Silk being in the game and, and, and with the Spider-Bots, I almost forgot about that, but Spider-Man 2 literally had a whole side quest where we get Spider-Bots from another dimension, we collect them all, another portal opens, we get a cut character from the Spider-Verse movie, she mentions Miguel. I mean, the game is literally littered with teases. But since all that is there, I feel like it's inevitable that something is gonna happen. And another thing outside of the portals that was teased in Spider-Man 2 is the team takedowns and fighting with other characters. Miles fought with Black Cat. The Spider-Mans can fight together. We can free roam and bump into one of each other. They can fight together. We can fight with Yuri. Definitely feel like they're testing the waters for multiple characters, team takedowns, fighting with companions, all of that stuff, man. Now, the next thing I want to point out is Spider-Man 3's campaign. Most people know that Green Goblin will most likely be the main villain of the game. Maybe Carnage will still be lingering around if he doesn't get dealt with in Spider-Man 2 DLC. But what else would we we do. Green Goblin is definitely a serious foe. He will probably be the strongest enemy that Spider-Man Peter Parker will have to take or handle. He will have Miles and Silk on his side. But like in my Spider-Man 3 discussion, I'm hoping Green Goblin isn't just a, a one and done type of villain. I hope he goes through different stages of his Green Goblin serum. But with that being said, regardless if he goes through those many stages, I still think Spider-Man 3 could potentially be a short game. We should, we, we're going to be able to get rid of Norman kind of quick with the help of other Spider-People. So what does the rest of that game look like. I think this is where they could implement the Spider-Verse. Maybe we won't see any type of Spider-Verse uh, uh, content in Spider-Man 2, and they can take the Great Reb concept and kind of bleed that into Spider-Man 3's campaign. Maybe Green Goblin is the main villain, but maybe he can find other multiversal variants of Green Goblin. Maybe the Goblin King from another universe has the Goblin Nation, and maybe Cindy's brother is over there. A lot of this happened in the comics. And we gotta remember, Norman went out to go get help from Otto Octavius, and he's working on the last chapter who knows what he got in his head he might be aware of damn all of these universe things man we could be seeing different versions of the sinister six coming back for like some last big grand finale to end off insomniac spider-man saga and i feel like if you got a spider-man game with all of these great villains that we've seen insomniac put in the game there's only one more thing to do or adapt and that would be the spider-verse but i'm gonna try to start wrapping this up right here man this is way longer than i wanted it to be like i said i didn't write no script i just hit record and start talking so i kind of probably went off of what i really wanted to talk about but guess what i'm really just trying to say is that i think we're gonna get some type of spider-verse content regardless might be years from now you know spider-man 3 probably won't come out until like five years or more you know up to like eight years from now bro because you still got a wolverine and all that other stuff that might be in the pipeline so but at the end of the day i think it's still gonna happen if you want to watch any of my other discussions where i go more in depth to some of my wish lists and some of the ways i think they could add the spider-verse and how spider-man 3 could look i have a playlist made just for my spider-man 2 discussions but i'm gonna end this up right here hold up just had to hop in real quick i was editing this video and i actually just saw that a second trailer for this canceled game just got dropped and the entire pitch 
presentation for this game just got leaked, man. It, it, it's ridiculous at this point. I really feel for Insomniac. I, I hope this can end finally, man, because we're not supposed to be seeing any of this. But regardless, it still seems like as much as the work they put in when it comes to the concept and the pitching, yeah, a lot of games can get scrapped, but I don't know. I feel like a lot of this will be carrying over in some shape, some way, somehow. But I'm gonna end this up right here, man. Y'all let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please don't share any of the major leaks or anything like that in the comments. You can express your feelings, how you feeling, your opinions and all that stuff, you know, your hypeness, your sadness, whatever, but just don't go in depth about what's been revealed. If you saw the roadmap of what they got planned, don't talk about that. Let's just let it happen, let it ride out, let it play out because plans can change. Nothing is confirmed until Sony, Insomniac, PlayStation actually starts dropping this content or not dropping this content, man. But I'm gonna end this one up right here. I hope y'all enjoy. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, hit the bell so you know when I'm posting, man. Share the content, share the channel, do all of that. I'll see y'all in the next one. It's your boy, Kai SMG. Peace.